Okay, let's uh, bring you a story that we've been following uh, for the last couple of days now. The Food and Drug Administration in Maharashtra started legal proceedings against uh, in 22 cases where food service apps like Swiggy and Zomato tied up with non-licensed partners. Well, they're being probed for allegedly delivering food from 113 restaurants in Mumbai, which had been issued stop work notices way back in October. While hearing on these cases is likely to begin soon, the delivery apps now claim that they have delisted these restaurants. Uh, we know that 113 outlets were functioning without licenses. Most of them were attached to Zomato, Swiggy, etc. But there are cases now that have been filed. How many cases have been filed? Uh, see, when we did the whole um, exercise of checking about 350 and odd outlets, we realized that about 115 did not have the licenses. So, as per the Food Safety Act, where they don't have the licenses, you're not supposed to do any business uh, with such people where they don't have license or registration. So, in this case, uh, what happens as per the Food Safety Act is that we go in for adjudication. Now, adjudication, uh, the Joint Commissioner gives the notice uh, to such uh, outlets saying that why have you done business with such people which is a contravention of uh, uh, the condition number 14 of the license uh, conditions mm -hmm. so in that case about in 22 cases uh, I believe the Joint Commissioner Mumbai has issued uh, notific uh, no, uh, issued notices uh, to Zomato and Swiggy for adjudication well, Amita Balachandra joining us live. Amita, uh, so there was a massive crackdown on restaurants and now it seems that the FDA has also uh, zoomed in on the food delivery apps. Now tell us what could be the price that they would pay because clearly they have flouted rules as well in tying up with restaurants that have already been debarred. Well, uh, a maximum penalty of 2 lakh rupees is what the uh, they could pay, is what uh, FTA has uh, told us. These are adjudication cases. A separate body has been set up by the FTA where officers will hear both Swiggy and Zomato and there are about 22 cases against both the apps. Now, we've seen how uh, earlier there were about uh, 113 outlets out there which do not even have licenses. Forget unhygienic conditions which we know right now that several top restaurants are also functioning with but there were so many of those restaurants which were operating without licenses so stop work uh, orders were given by the FDA we understand uh, and what was even more shocking was uh, these companies like Zomato, Swiggy etc tying up with these um, restaurants which did not have licenses we've continuously heard from them saying that they've delisted these uh, restaurants and that is a continuous process and that they are with the FTA in this but so far uh, there are about 22 cases uh, the FTA has seems to have taken the next step in this process 22 cases now hearing to begin uh, shortly is what we've been told well, certainly. So both uh, Zomato and Swiggy have a few questions to answer. They've, uh, they've, they've, their claim, of course, is that hmm. you know, they've delisted these apps, hmm. but it remains to be seen whether the FTA is going to buy that uh, version and whether they're going to be spared that action. Amitabh, do continue to track that story for us, and thanks for joining us.